Hi, I'm Sarah McInerney, and this is what happens after CCIM. In my four years at Ball State, I grew so much. I came in as a student athlete. I was on the soccer team for a year. Found out that wasn't for me, and so after resigning from the team, I decided to get into more student life and activities going on. So I did everything from Cardinal Communications, Homecoming Committee, Office of Admissions. I basically lived there. I was a tour guide, an intern, as well as an orientation leader. And I came in as a shy freshman who didn't really know what she wanted to a confident senior who was ready for the real world. So when I was a senior looking for a real world job, I made quite the Excel sheet to help me keep track of everything and who I was talking to and when. I ended up with two opportunities after job searching for a while my senior year. One was an internship and the other was a full-time job. I was torn between the two because the internship was something that I think my heart really cared about and was called to. However, the internship was going to end. They told me I could be the next best intern they've ever had. They weren't in the position to hire. So there was a deadline on that one. The other opportunity was a full-time job, which is exactly what I was looking for. A salary, health insurance, free parking downtown, all of those things. And so I was very torn and luckily given two weeks to make a decision. It was my friends, family, faculty, and professors that helped me follow my passion over a paycheck. So instead of taking the full-time job, which was everything that I had wanted on paper, I decided to follow my passion and go with the internship. Now in the internship, since I basically had a deadline of knowing that I was going to leave because they stuck to their word and did not hire me, I decided to absolutely network as much as I could. And so I met other people from the company, from different departments, and they taught me many valuable lessons. And towards the end of my internship, there was a full-time position open in the corporate communications department. And it was thanks to the networking that I did that gave me a leg up when I was applying and interviewing. I had that job for nine months, and then the Youth Foundation did open their doors, and they were hiring a full-time person. So I have been with the Finish Line Youth Foundation since June of 2015. Some really amazing moments have been in the smaller stuff that we do, engaging employees with nonprofits from around the country, getting our employees to go out to Special Olympics and check out their world, and of course, mentoring Boys and Girls Club from around the country and how they can get their first job through Finish Line. So a typical day in the life for me looks like getting up early to work out. I love working out, it's my alone time and it's something that's fun for me. Then I usually go to the office from eight to five. I usually bring my own lunch, so I either spend my lunch doing a little bit of yoga or just something to take my mind off of work for a little while. And then after work, I come home and either hang out with friends or work on a passion project. I'm currently making a podcast right now. I do a little bit of blogging for another organization. And then of course, relax. I love binge watching shows and hanging out with my fiance and wedding planning has been another project that I'm working on right now as well. One of the proudest moments in my career was when we were building a new national partnership. And long story short, we were trying to decide do we want to fall under their health and fitness initiatives or do we want to fall under their career readiness initiatives with this particular partner? For some reason, the partner had been pushing us to go down the health and fitness route and that's what we were kind of leaning towards and researching. But there was just something in my gut that was like, I don't think this is it. I'm not sure this is the route for us, but I couldn't understand why. I couldn't articulate why. And one day I was sitting at my desk and I'll never forget this feeling. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna speak up and say something because I just don't think this is the way that we should go. So I thought about it for a second, leaned over to my coworker and confided in him first. And then he was like, yeah, I think you're right. Go for it, go talk to our supervisor. So I talked to our supervisor and I was like, I don't think we should go down this health and fitness path. I think career readiness is where we're meant to be and here's why. And I also mentioned, during this research, none of us are smiling. We're not excited about this, so why are we going this way? So then I came up with um, how we could engage with career readiness through this particular partner, and we started building it, and it turned out to be the greatest snowball that I've ever started, and it's been an amazing partnership with that partner ever since. <laughs> 